Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about NFA. No, NFA means non-deterministic finite automata. Now see this transition. Here, there are two transitions from state Q1 for single input symbol A. So, what does it mean? It doesn't mean that when the finite automata is in a state Q1 and it reads input symbol A, it will jump to both states Q2 and Q3. It means when the finite automata is in state Q1 and it reads an input symbol A, it has a choice. It can either jump to state Q2 or it can jump to state Q3. Right. So it is not determined what would be the next state of this finite automata on reading an input symbol A when its present state is Q1. So the finite automata which have such type of transitions are called non-deterministic finite automata. Right. Now, the transition function of NFA is different from that of DFA. Output of transition function of DFA is always a single state. Output of transition function of DFA is always a single state. But in case of NFA, the output of transition function is always a set of states. And that set may contain one or more states. Right. Now see here. See this transition function of NFA here for present state q1 and input symbol a the output of transition function would be a set of states which will contain the states q2 and q3 so the output of transition function in case of nfa will be the set of possible states in which machine can jump after reading the input symbol from its present state. Here it shows that this transition function shows that if the machine is in state Q1 then reading an input symbol A it can either jump to state Q2 or to state Q3. Now see this finite automata for input symbol A from state Q0 from state Q0 for input symbol A there are two transitions right so this is an NFA right so in this case output of transition function will always be the set of states right its uh, output will always be a set of possible states so first of all we will find the output of a transition function for state q0 and input symbol a when the machine is in a state q0 and it reads input symbol a it can either stay in a state q0 or it can jump to state q1 so the output of transition function would be in this case a set having two states q0 and q1 now let's find the transition of q1 for input symbol b the output of transition function for state q1 for input symbol b will be a set having only 
one state that is q2 because there is only one transition from state q1 for input symbol b and that is to state q2 now see this symbol this symbol represents empty string it means it represents nothing now see this transition this transition represents the when the machine is in a state q1 and it reads empty string it jumps to state q2 it means when the machine or machine is in a state q1 then without reading any input symbol right it can jump to state q2 such type of transitions are called empty transitions or empty moves if a finite automata has empty transitions then it is an nfa because here we have a choice when the machine is in a state q1 then without reading any input symbol it can either stay in state q1 or it can jump to state q2 so it is not determined that whether the machine will stay in a state q1 or it will jump to state q2 so a finite automata which has empty transitions is also a nfa so those nfa which have empty transitions are called nfa with empty moves or empty transitions and nfa which don't have or which doesn't have empty transitions are called nfa without empty moves or nfa without empty transitions thank you very much